This is Kathy Beal of EmpowermentUnlimited.net with Astro Insight for the week of March 18th, 2024. The energy is noticeably shifting. We still have a lot going on in Pisces this week. There's still a lot of opportunity for confusion, let's just call it that, for woolly thinking, for fuzzy thinking, for wondering if everyone just has a case of long COVID or for all aging or what the reason is. But fires are starting to ramp up. Inner gas pilots, who remembers those, going on. Motors starting to rev for a big takeoff that will happen in April. There are some uncomfortable aspects this week that nudge us, there's that word again, into dealing with, paying attention to, inescapable issues that are just not going to be swept under the rug. They don't go away when we stick our head under the pillow. There are things that we are compelled to say, look at. Some of this discomfort comes through annoyance from being fed up with certain situations, from having something gnaw at you so much that you overreact in proportion to the immediate situation, but it's because something's been building. With Mercury in the semi-sextile nudge aspect with Jupiter on the 18th, could involve indulgence, could involve minds going into overdrive information that's just there that we cannot ignore. Mercury has another one of these nudging uncomfortable relationships with his crazy genius uncle Uranus four days later on the 22nd. So much of the week, the business week, what used to be looked at as the work week, involves things stirring that we really cannot quite get away from. And the Mercury-Uranus semi-sextile on the 22nd has a sharpness to it, an anxiety, a jitteriness. It comes with the sensation of electric jolts, like when you get static electricity and something goes, Psst, and you, ah, ah. So there could be things that very, very suddenly get your attention, and they may bridge back to whatever is bugging you on the 18th. In between, Mars has the same kind of uncomfortable relationship with Neptune. On the 19th, something in the bigger picture wants us to act. We may want to address gaslighting or confusion or something that we have had unclear in our mind and we may be nudged, nudged, nudged to be kind, to be the bigger person in a situation, especially hard when you have made judgments about the situation. So these nudges are bugging us as the week goes on, but they are not the source of the big, big, big action. The main event is on the 19th when the sun moves into Aries. This is the March or Aries equinox. It marks the start of spring in the northern hemisphere, fall in the southern hemisphere, and it is starting the reignition of life force within us being more bold, being more assertive, being more out in the world and just taking risks. When the sun is at zero Aries, it is in a spot that's called the world axis. Big collective events tend to happen. The shifts in energy tend to affect very large groups. So notice a change in the overall vibe coming the 19th. The first major aspect of the season occurs two days later on the 21st, and it is an opportunity to take all of this fiery self-activation, self-actualization, bold, daring energy and meld it into 
new expressions of power, collective expressions of power working within our communities. The sun is making a sextile to Pluto in Aquarius and inviting us to change our lives, our sense of selves, our personality, our mission, to update it to match the new paradigm, the new power structure that is emerging that will take us into 2044. At the same time, there's a very strong, unavoidable focus on values and relationships. You may feel really burdened by a situation. You may feel called upon to take something extremely seriously to commit. This comes from Venus making a conjunction to Saturn, planet of order, structure, commitment, and adulting. This has put a ring on it energy, being mature, being responsible, even though we are darting off in new bold directions, there is a reminder that we're not solo. There are things around us, situations around us, people and relationships and connections around us that are important to us, and it's necessary to be grounded in them and by them. And the wherewithal to follow through on this comes the next day when Mars, planet of action, moves into Pisces himself. Not normally a really easy place for him to be because Mars prefers being able to move really, really quickly. And it's harder to move in water. Think of when you've been in a pool or in a lake or in an ocean and you've tried to walk, the force of the water goes against you. And if you push, if you spin, push water ahead of you, it backwashes onto you. So there's a softness, uh, an edge that is off action at this point, a gentleness, and also an impulse to direct our actions into softer, gentler, milder, perhaps more loving. His move into Pisces right after Venus, also in Pisces, has made that contact to Saturn really does dispose him toward doing her bidding. You can look at Venus and Mars as the cosmic lovers, the representatives of two sides of a relationship or the masculine and the feminine. And since he has moved into the sign she is occupying, where, by the way, she is exalted, he is now uncommonly equipped to pursue what it is she wants, and what she wants is commitment and stability with a bit of magic and a lot of love and tenderness. And speaking of what she wants, that could get even bigger by the end of the weekend. On the 24th, Venus makes a sextile to Jupiter, her companion in indulgence, and there could be an opening to get something that you really, really want. Keep in mind, all week long, we are in the build-up to the first eclipse of the year, which is a Venus-ruled eclipse, the Libra full moon lunar eclipse, which happens on the 25th. It is bringing relationship matters to a head some of them will be ending, some of them will be revising, some specific people will be leaving. Her travels this week play directly into this, okay? So what it is you discover that you really want and what you open yourself to informs how you want to change the agreements that you have, the ground rules that you have, and the specific relationships that you have. Homing thought of the week, I take responsibility for my energy. Song of the week, Hands by Jewel. And the image of the week is Hot Springs, the phenomenon, not the town. You'll learn a lot more about this in my forecast for 
the Libra full moon lunar eclipse, which is already up at my site, along with my forecast for the month of March, empowermentunlimited.net, where you can sign up for my newsletter and book a session with me. I'm Kathy Beal, a professional astrologer with more than 30 years experience. I have a couple of appearances this week. Uh, My Celestial Compass show on Monday at 5 p.m. Eastern on Ohm Times Radio and TV has a look at astrology and the movies with Frank Clifford of the London School of Astrology. And I am also looking at the astrology of current events on Tuesday at 4 p.m. Eastern with Annette Dion on her Spirit Talk podcast uh, on her YouTube channel. Look for the links below. I have lots of bonus content at my Patreon, patreon.com slash Kathy Beal, including an analysis of the Equinox chart. And I'm really grateful to the people who support my work there. I also have lots of content on Facebook at Empowerment Unlimited and in the group, the Astro Insight Lounge. I post on Instagram and threads at at K.A. Beal and on YouTube at the Professional Aquarian Channel. Talk to you.